channel, my name is Scott Mendenhall. Today we are doing a boosted board review of a Mini X, Mini S, and the V2. We're gonna compare their speed, the wheel size, the braking, you name it. We're gonna get it done for you today. I'm so glad you're watching. Subscribe to the channel as we tell the best stories we can today. What a beautiful fall day in Minnesota. Braking is sufficient in the, the Mini S. I think that depending on what level you're on, the braking is sufficient. So I obviously spend most of my time on the expert level, but as soon as I go back to beginner, I feel like it takes about like 10 seconds to brake. So it's not sufficient unless you're on the expert level. Just did the braking and Lily, you're afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to brake really fast. It's just, I just had an accident on my board, so I'm being a little bit of a pants. So <laughs> it's not exactly like scientific around here, but what we have learned in just a few of the stopping is the V2 definitely doesn't stop near as fast. I think the I think the X, even if I was stopping at like full capacity on the S, I think the X has the best by far. I do think some of the braking on any electric device is how brave you as the rider will be on stopping because it's still a little bit of, it's an intimidating factor to pull back and know that you could get launched off your board forward. Abijah locked the wheels up at one yes. point on the V2. He so was like, I'm shaking. <laughs> it really comes down to you as the braking. They're very similar on how they brake. It's down to you. But when somebody says braking, how do you do that? So with our controller here, you just pull back on the trigger and you want to just feel it will come to a complete stop, but if you continue to pull on your brake, it'll go in reverse, which I think is awesome because I always want to have the option to go backwards, say if something is coming at me. Top speed for the Mini S? 18 miles an hour. And the top speed for the Mini X is 20 miles an hour. Now, have you ever seen your board at 18 miles an hour? I have. I've even seen it go a little bit faster, just depending on wind direction or if I'm going downhill. And so, seriously, that is, I feel like with the cost difference, now I know it was gifted to me, but from what I've researched and just known of boosted board, because of the two miles an hour difference, and you might think differently, I think that the X is just so, the S, sorry, is just so worth it. Now, the X is supposed to get two more miles an hour, and I've yet to see this hit 20 miles an hour. I've been at 19 miles an hour, unless going downhill, that switches. Hence why we have purple wheels sit sitting here. In a couple weeks, or a couple days, we'll be doing a wheel switch on this to gain the extra miles because it's just slightly bigger. These are 80 millimeters, this is 85 millimeters, which is gonna give me a little bit more top speed because I'm coming from a V2, which was 22 miles an hour, so I missed some of that top speed. When we're talking about wheels on a boosted board, the wheels are spectacular on streets like this where there's no grooves, but when you get on the sidewalks that are every four feet, you get this sound, good not hear that? That's because the boosted board wheels are not the great in that environment. I think bigger wheels would alleviate some of that, that feel. That, that's what we're trying to say here on the wheel size. Here's, here's what we're gonna do on this next segment here. Is, it's the turning. I, I think the Mini X and S turn so much better than the V2, and it has nothing to do with the, the tail on it. However, that is a nice feature. It's just its mobility, and so we're gonna use this. We're gonna come around this side and can only turn on this side of the line. If we cross the yellow line, we failed. So we're coming around this and right around in here. Again, this is not using the tail to tic-tac your way around it. It is trying to ride it around with the control in hand. As you've 
showed this, what, what are some of the other features you like? So something I love is the body. I love that there is a little bit of curve on the sides and the end. I know that I can feel comfortable. I know that the way my board feels, and I just love that it's just different from a longboard. You know what you're gonna get when it comes to a longboard, and for even most skateboards, you know what you're gonna get, but for this specifically, I love that it has a vintage feel. I love the deep dish to it. It's not just a flat deck like the bamboo loaded decks for V2. It's got this curve in it. And I've heard some people complain about it. Oh, my foot's so big. It really allows you to get into the, the carving of the board and make the sharp turns because this corner is so much better than the V2. Being able to carry it, the portability, put it under a table is amazing. <music> is a great feature which on the bottom side which is genius on boosted board they put the puck there so that when you kick it up to take off or carry it or what you it's not scratching your deck which just sucks when this gets all messed up <laughs> The other things I love is that on the edge of the board, there is this reinforced plastic like that, that really keeps it from getting all nicked up and damaged. When I was talking about the wheels, and these are 80 millimeters, and same with this, Mini S is 80 millimeters as well. The difference in the wheel is color on these boards. There, there's no difference in size or in hardness or grippiness. It's all the same. It's just color to distinguish the two. Lastly, when it comes to the bodies of the Mini S or the Mini X, you're not going to get as much flex as you would with a typical longboard or even the board that comes on the V2. You have something to where you have a little bit more stability on these boards, which I love. I was not a skateboarder before. I wasn't a longboarder but I love the idea of getting somewhere fast and not having to use my car. And so with the boosted board, I felt really stable. To what she's saying is these are built more, the decks on these mini S's and mini X, it's built more like a snowboard than it is the bamboo loaded decks, which I don't think you want the flex in the minis because you're gonna get the wobble as you get to top speed. You need the stout board. Now let's talk about battery life. What's the difference in the two, Lil? Yeah, so battery life on the Mini S is a lot quicker to deplete as the Mini X is. We've gone on a ton of rides with our staff here and most of us have the Mini S and we're always contemplating riding beginner or expert because we know that they're gonna last a little bit longer than us. However, for me personally, my commutes are always a little bit shorter, so I knew that the Mini S would be perfect for me. And I think what she's alluding to is the Mini X, besides the gray wheels and the extra two miles an hour, is that you get the extended range battery on this, which doubles the distance, where the Mini S's distance is what? Right, it's uh, about seven miles if you're on, say, beginner, the wind isn't a factor, things like that. And then this one is 14 miles, and again, it's conditional. It's If you're riding in the wind, it's going to go down. If you're just wide open on the throttle wheel, you, it's going to deplete much faster. I know you're asking yourself, can you take the extended range battery and put it on the Mini S? And sadly, no. It's the motor is smaller. The clearance for the bigger battery can't get in there. It's about a two inch battery to a one inch motor. And so there's this, this gap that the battery can't slide into. And then the next question is, can you take to fly with the Mini X, can you take the standard range battery and put it on here? The answer is yes, with an asterisk. You can get it in there and the bolts will hold it in, but the motor is gonna have the two inch clearance and your battery's gonna only be one inch. So you're gonna have this lift that's gonna make it really dangerous when clearing curves and bumps and things. You got something now that's gonna be able to catch onto those things and then stop the board and you're gonna continue to fly forward. So. You can do that at your own risk. The battery ratings are the same. It's just Boosted Board isn't going to say, oh yeah, you can, because the risk of injury to you with that lip that's sticking out there. It was, Lily didn't like the last 15 endings we've shot here, so we're <laughs> reshooting this for little Lily here. 
Thank you so much for watching. What would you like to say, Lily? Oh my gosh. I just like to keep things easy, but a lot of the times it's really not easy. So I hope you had fun. Don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe. We're always Click putting out button. content on Tuesdays and Thursday right now. If you have any comments or questions about the board, leave, leave your comments down below. And we hope you had fun. And never forget that every setback is a setup for something great to happen. But if you quit before there's something great happens, you'll never know. Don't quit. Have fun. Get a boosted board. That's right. Out with the one wheels, in with the boosted board. <laughs> can I say that? Yes, you can. All right. Bye, guys.